Now we begin this Monday night with a Fox News alert. The Department of Energy, they are now fi finally admitting the obvious truth. COVID-19 was apparently developed in that by Chinese scientists at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, likely through gain-of-function research. Now, the deadly disease somehow leaked out of the lab and it infected the entire world. And by the way, China knew it the entire time. Side note, a sloppy attempt to cover up. And then that all ensued from the communist Chinese and, of course, their corrupt propagandists, in part, that we fund for China, and that would be the WHO and maybe even Dr. Fauci himself. And yet no one has been held accountable. They have yet to this point even wanted to admit the truth, which was obvious. Now, a message from President Reagan is more relevant than ever, quote, the nine most terrifying words in the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. In other words, do not put your trust in the federal government and the officials that work in government, because sadly, over and over again, they are constantly lying to you, the American people, or making it all up as they go along, especially during life and death scenarios. For example, if you go back two days after the terror attack on 9-11, well, the head of the APA at the time told New Yorkers that the air at ground zero was safe to breathe. The EPA was wrong, and now many are dead, others seriously ill even today from believing that lie and breathing that air. Here's another glaring example. Remember the Affordable Care Act, Barack Obama repeatedly promising all Americans can keep their doctor, keep their plans. The average American family would save around $2,500 a year. Well, after the bill passed, millions of Americans lost their doctors, millions lost their plans, prices skyrocketed out of sight, and almost half the country has only one Obamacare exchange option. That's it. They lie to you over and over again. Even far-left political fa politi fact called this the lie of the year. And get this, just last week, Pothole Pete blaming Donald Trump's deregulation for the disaster in East Palestine. Well, even the radical left-wing Washington Post, they just reviewed every single possible regulatory change under Donald Trump, and they found that none of them contributed to the Ohio train derailment. And then you got Pothole Pete, the Biden administration, the media mob, flat out lying to you, the American people, again and again. Now, of course, the lies surrounding COVID-19 were on a whole other level. They demanded that we wear masks. Now, top scientists are saying uh, masks did not stop. They did not slow the spread of COVID-19 at all, pretty much saying that they were useless. They mandated those vaccines, remember, even for those with natural immunity prior or from a prior infection. Well, as it turns out, natural immunity is a stronger protection against the virus. Remember they told you that if you got the vaccine, that would stop the spread of COVID-19? They were wrong again. Remember they told you if you got vaccinated, you would never get COVID. You would never spread COVID. Wrong again. How many Americans believe these lies? And then there was the chorus of misinformation surrounding the origins of COVID-19. Now, despite the fact that the COVID outbreak clearly started in Wuhan in China, the site of the Wuhan Institute for Virology, a lab that was well known for gain of function research and research on coronaviruses, many on the left just could not fathom the possibility that COVID originated in that lab. The World Health Organization, they immediately ruled out the possibility of a lab leak. Dr. Fauci claimed that there was no evidence that COVID was made in a Chinese lab. He had been told otherwise by a scientist in an email very early on. The Washington Post called the lab leak hypothesis a, quote, debunk conspiracy theory. Facebook, they censored posts that referred to the virus as man-made. Even Forbes called it a conspiracy theory. And the echo chamber was in full gear. Take a look. Tom Cotton a couple of days ago uh, spouting a conspiracy theory that the Chinese made yeah. this virus up. You the lab and we'll go. In a lab. Here's Conservative talk show host Rush Limbaugh with zero proof suggesting a Chinese bioweapon lab is to blame. We know that it's been debunked that this virus was man-made or modified or anything like that. Dr. Anthony Fauci rejected the conspiracy that coronavirus was man-made in a lab in Wuhan, China. And yet this week, Donald Trump is still pushing the debunked bunkum, despite his own intelligence community's findings that that is simply not true. If you look at 
the evolution of the virus in bats and what's out there now is very, very strongly leaning towards this could not have been artificially or deliberately manipulated. Well, Brett, I'm really sorry that the lab leak has become such a distraction for so many people, because frankly, we still don't know. There is no evidence really to say. Most of the scientific community, myself included, think that is a possibility, but far more likely this was a natural way in which a virus left a bat. Oh, totally, completely debunked, a conspiracy theory, just like uh, Trump-Russia collusion really happened. No, they were wrong on that, too. Uh, they were wrong on Hunter Biden's laptop. How many Americans believe their lies? How many were directly hurt or worse as a result of these lies? Now, of course, they weren't even looking for the truth. And time and time again, all in an effort to get Donald Trump, the mob and the media, they denied reality. They denied the truth. In this case, they nothing but Chinese propaganda, all while then President Trump was telling the truth. Take a look. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? There are reports of dozens of incidents of bias against Chinese Americans in this country. Your own aide, Secretary Azar, says he does not use this term. He says ethnicity does not cause the virus. Why do you keep using this? A lot it of people say it's China. racist. It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China. That's why. It comes from China. Uh, as you know, China tried to say at one point, maybe they stopped now, that it was caused by American soldiers. That can't happen. It's not going to happen. Not as long as I'm president. Now, Trump was right. The virus did come from China. In fact, it was apparently developed by, by China at a lab partially funded by you, the American people. Under Anthony Fauci's leadership at the NIH, millions of U.S. tax dollars were funneled via a third party, the EcoHealth Alliance, to the Wuhan Institute of Virology. That was a lab well known for a couple of things. I just stated, for example, one, that their controversial gain of function research, two, their sloppy safety protocols, if you even want to call them that, uh, and, you know, they were known for. Uh, also studying coronaviruses. So mark my words, there's got to be accountability or this will happen again. Do you, are you really ever going to trust your government on any issue involving your health or your family's health?